What if I told you I lost weight eating meals just like this? And this. And also this. Hi, my name is Kendall and I coach young professionals and help them become the healthiest version of themselves while creating an online business. You're probably someone who is a lot like me. You've gone on a diet, lost some weight, gained way more back, and then you go and try another new fad diet. And then you just keep staying in the diet loop and you just wanna stop freaking dieting. Me before, and I have extreme compassion for this girl right here because she was literally doing everything, trying her very best to achieve just the tiniest little bit of weight loss. Counting calories, counting macros, doing low carb, low calorie, fasting, juice fasting, not eating, binge eating, exercising extremely hard. And this right here is me today, yes. <laughs> Without all the stress, the difference between these two versions of me is that this old version of Kendall would sacrifice all health, all in the name of being skinny. But that is total BS. I don't want a single person to ever feel like they have to compromise their health to lose weight. Being slender is simply a side effect of being healthy. But what is the best way to eat? There are so many different diets out there. No carbs, low carb. We live in a food confused world. So that is why I'm sharing what worked best for me and also what aligned with some of the healthiest, longest living communities in the world. <laughs> Tip number one, eat 95% of your diet from plants. Marketing loves the word superfood. If you go into the produce section, all of the food in that area is a superfood. Potato, superfood. Broccoli, superfood. Mushrooms, superfood. Kale, superfood. Blueberries, superfood. Legumes, superfood. Anything that ever comes from a plant, from the dirt, from the ground, that is a superfood. The only real food in a grocery store comes from the produce section or from a garden. Eating 95% of your diet from plants will ensure that you will not overeat your calorie surplus. This is the cow. Plant foods have nutrients in them, which helps regulate your food consumption. Our stomachs want to feel moderately full, and the amazing thing about plants is that they are full of volume and fiber, and that they naturally make us feel full without having tons of calories in our body. <laughs> Guideline number two. Reduce or eliminate processed foods, oils, and animal products. When I began removing these foods, people asked me, Kendall, how are you going to get protein? Kendall, where will you get your healthy fats from? Guys, this right here is another marketing tool that has dramatically misled people. When it comes to getting my healthy omegas and fats, it really is not that hard. I go to the whole food plant-based source. So there are foods like avocados, nuts, seeds, olives, and there's also an omega that I take by Juice Plus. There really is no need to go to olive oil or any of these processed oils to get fats into your diet. Moving these highly processed foods will dramatically lower your calorie intake and it will slash your chance of chronic disease up to 86%. I personally just eliminated olive oil from my cooking because it is the most calorically dense food on the planet. There are ways to get around this. I water saute, I air fry, and my husband does not ever miss a single drop of oil on our food. Whenever I do include any of these foods, it's typically for a special occasion. Remember, this is only 5% of the foods that you really want to be consuming throughout the year. Here are the ways that I include it. Christmas is coming up birthdays, anniversaries, save these highly caloric foods just for special occasions. Number three is I eat a 50-50 plate, which is half starches and half veggies. Honestly, this is probably the best tip. The 50-50 plate will rock your world. This is how I eat most of my meals, even to this day. Here are some examples of these meals. So why a 50-50 plate? Here's the answer. Starches have vital carbohydrates in them while satiating the body and giving it lots of energy. Veggies are naturally low in calories and very high in nutrients. It's so easy to have a balanced meal every single day. It honestly just simplified my life. Number four, eat until you are 80% satisfied. If you feel so sluggish after a meal that you can't go for a walk, 
you have overindulged my friend. And again, this is a product of our environment. We have extremely highly caloric dense foods that have very low nutrients in them. So when we sit down to meals that are not nutritionally dense, our bodies are looking for those key nutrients while we're still eating, eating, eating. So it's very easy to get very full, but not ever feel satiated. That is why eating 95% of your food all from plants will dramatically change how much you consume at each meal. So honestly, it was probably the hardest one for me to figure out because I came from a background of binge eating, emotional eating, sneaky eating. I hired a coach and a nutritionist to help me and it is totally normal to do that as well. Number five, create a healthy environment. Remember how I said you are a product of your environment? Well, you can either support yourself or you can destroy yourself. I personally am in two online community groups that really help me stay focused. And I'll drop the links down here so you can see which groups they are. Number one is a group that I am a part of called Juice Plus, and the other group is through Slim on Starch. These two community groups are incredible, and they are all about eating whole food, plant-based, and they will support you to your goals. Also, if you live with someone, bring them in on your goals. Share what you're wanting. Share what you're desiring. If you're living with somebody who supports eating junk food and they keep that food within the house, I am telling you, you are setting yourself up for big time failure. It is so hard to make changes when you always have the opportunity to get that snack, eat that food, and it's just around the corner. Remember, you are not a victim of your environment. You have the power to change what you surround yourself with. You will never regret doing something for your health or your longevity. Those are the five tips that I highly recommend. And if you are looking for more resources, I am going to put some videos down below. All of these resources are in the same alignment with longevity and natural solutions. They're entirely based in health and they are all supporting that whole food plant-based mindset. I am currently obsessed with the Blue Zones. There is a documentary on Netflix that is so good, it's so good. Healthy Emmy, and she is the program that I hired when I was looking for an amazing nutritionist. I would highly recommend her to you if you're looking to break free of emotional eating. Also, I will be including the Omega that I personally use, which is through Juice Plus. It is a vegan Omega. It's the only one of its kind on the market. Thank you guys, as always, for joining me. I love getting to learn how to make videos and to build this channel so that it serves you the very best. You can find me on Kind All Health. That is my Instagram handle, and that is where I hang out the most currently. Catch you guys next time. Bye.